very good morning to you. It's Monday the, oh, what is it? Monday the um, 14th of November 2011. Here comes the cat. Welcome to today's United Kingdom talk. And I, I can't believe this. Here we are, right? Into winter now, just at the beginning of winter. Halfway through November, near enough. And I'm sitting in the garden in Berkshire, near London, in a T-shirt. I don't know how good your memory is, but this time last year, um, we had snow on the ground, airports were closed, traffic was in chaos. Is this global warming? Can we have some more of this, please? I don't know how much longer this is going to last, but um, we have had a, 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 a very mild winter. I mean, very mild winter up to now. We had a couple of little bits of cold, but of course the good news, boys and girls, is I have barely turned the heating on. How wonderful is that? Maybe an hour here, an hour there, but nothing to write home about. Even the electric blanket on the bed has hardly come on. How wonderful is that? And of course, as we're in the garden, you get to see the cat. She's arrived, uh, haven't you, my darling? She's very, she's more than happy to sit on my lap in the sun, aren't you? I did put another chair. They sometimes put a chair next to me and she'll go on that chair. Um, but she's quite happy to sit on my lap at the moment, aren't you, darling, eh? Katie the cat, the friendliest cat in the world. And she was also showed great friendship uh, to uh, actually, my ex, my ex girlfriend of all oh, 16, 26, 36, 46, of 32 years ago, came round with her husband on uh, Saturday. He wanted to check out um, some speakers that uh, were not functioning properly, so they came round Saturday only for an hour. So it was really nice to see her. Last time I saw her was about 14 years ago. Isn't it funny how people don't seem to change, do they? I I'm squinting a bit now because the, the sun is so bright, it's right in my eyes. Um, did my first mobile DJing uh, job last Saturday night for someone's 30th, there she is, she's gone on that chair now, for someone's uh, 30th birthday and 40th wedding anniversary. It was a Julia was the name of the girls who, or girl whose birthday it was, and Chris and Mick on their anniversary. And what a nice night. What a wonderful night. Started at about 8 o'clock, finished at 12. I was, I was in the car at 12.30. Had no trouble getting... I was a bit worried about getting all this new equipment in the car. No problem at all. Plenty of space left. I could easily get some more stuff in there if I wanted to do it. Um, and it was the typical family, you know, get-together. Typical family get-together. Um, most of the time, you know, in all honesty, not many people danced. But everyone was very happy. We got a few requests. We played all of those. And, um, yeah, a nice night. So I'm a bit happy. I've got to, you don't realise how nervous I was about going back onto the sort of mobile um, DJing scene after such a long time. I mean, blimey. I, I was quite nervous about that. But it all went off really without a hitch. Uh, and, of course, there was a buffet. Oh, it's been years since I went to an event on a, or worked at an event on a Saturday night with a buffet. And how wonderful was that to see? Of course, I don't eat meat anymore, so I stacked to, well, to be honest, I, I, I almost ate the entire plate of iced party rings. <laughs> and that's before they were supposed to be given out. Every time I went past the plate, which was very near the, where I was DJing, it was a big, big stage, every time I went past the plate, I took another two. And before I realized it, half the plate was gone. Oh, I'm sure they didn't mind. Uh, a few bits of bread, some cheese I had and stuff like that. But uh, how, how lovely. To, I, mu I must insist that all the places that I work in future on Saturday night put on a buffet. We do like a buffet. So that was that. Uh, went to church yesterday, Sunday, and uh, of course it was Remembrance Sunday, and they had uh, a wooden cross and some poppies on the altar, which was rather nice. Uh, two minutes silence after the gospel. And they had a trumpeter in the church which uh, I've never heard, you know, doing that tune. Is it the last? I'm not quite sure what it's called. It's that tune. Da, 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 da. I'm not quite sure what that tune is called, but they uh, had a trumpeter. First time I've seen that uh, in the church, which was uh, rather nice. And of course, the two minutes silence after that. So there we are. All right, uh, emails, boys and girls. Hello to uh, Richard, who sent this in, actually, almost a month ago now. Sorry, Richard, I've um, uh, it's just been getting a little bit behind with the emails. And um, as you can see, I, I've got a bit of a pile of them here to get through now. Uh, Richard writes, I'm glad you had a good time in Vegas. 
And as I'm only poor, I did visit, did my own visit, and this is how I did it on the cheap. Boys and girls, if you, if you want to go to Vegas and the pennies are a little bit lacking, then have a listen to this. I flew from Gatwick to Vegas on a 737-400, landed it myself. From there, I changed to a helicopter and flew myself around the city all on flight sim. Flight simulation, I guess that is. And then I went on to Google Earth and I did the whole Las Vegas strip. You will like this, trust me. I even did a Grand Canyon tour in my own helicopter, all from the comfort of my chair. Plus, I did not have to put up with miserable American Airlines flight attendants once, no jet lag, and no strange flushing toilets in America. <laughs> But then your videos seem to finish off my little getaway, especially those beautiful fountains outside the um, uh, Bellagio Hotel. I think it was Bell Bellagio? I can't remember what it was called now. Thank you so much. Now I know I saved you about 20 or 30 pounds on your cycle a few months ago, but you have repaid me. How nice is that to say? You have repaid me back tenfold. Chris, your debt is paid in full. Regards, Richard in Croydon. Richard, I know it's, I'm sorry, it's been a... A, a month since you sent that in. I do apologise, that's taken such a long time to come up. But I'm glad uh, you uh, and others uh, enjoyed the, um, uh, the videos I did in Las Vegas. It does make it worthwhile when you get a little email like that. Thank you, Richard. Hello to Peter, who says, Dear Chris, you were talking about ghosts. Sometimes, and, and, and Peter does spirit type things, OK? Sometimes they are spirits that are trapped here on Earth. Some spirits can see the same places as it was when the day they died on Earth. It may have been a thousand years ago, but to them, they are still alive and living. Most of them can't, um, is the, can't see the light or can't get to the light or do not know how to. If we go in to an old place, we are the ones that are trespassing there for they don't like it. To them, it's their home. And to us, it's an old place that may be falling to bits, but to them, it's how it was when it was first built. He's talking about the spirits here. We as mediums, because Peter is a medium, we as mediums feel so sorry for them being trapped on earth. It's not nice, but some people get a laugh out of it. They may not be knowing that spirit cannot go anywhere. It would be nice to see what other people can say about this. Sometime we have to meet somewhere so that you can see how you are, uh, how you are um, wiring to. I'm not quite sure what he means by that. I may bring along my dear wife uh, with me if that's okay with you. Yes, of course. Sometime next year we are in Chesson, which is in uh, Hertfordshire. It's not too far away from me. Actually, I'd love to come and meet you. Maybe we could have a cup of tea and a chat over things. And he says, sorry if there's any bad spelling or words. Uh, don't worry about spelling, uh, Peter, or indeed anyone else. You know, it's not a spelling just right into the show. It's, it's all about taking part in the show. Uh, I might have mis, um, mis, um, misread that in parts uh, myself. It's just some, you know, I'm trying to sort of work out the, with, sometimes with the spelling and that. So thanks very much for Peter. Uh, much appreciated. Peter also writes, uh, on the subject of you catching colds, I had a cold a couple of weeks ago. He says, Chris, you can stop catching colds all by just saying to yourself, I'm not going to get a cold or whatever but you will have to demand it more than once or twice. So that's interesting, isn't it? You know, a lot of, um, I actually believe that a lot of illnesses are, are in the mind. You know, I, I do believe the mind and the body are connected. Sometimes going to the doctors and taking a few pills isn't enough. You've got to tell yourself as well. If I go near people with colds or whatever, I say in my mind, you will be fitting against negative energy. For me, it always works. Try it. Uh, and he says, your star light looks warmly at this time. A spirit named Arthur likes to say hi to you and Sally is blowing you a kiss. So thank you very much for that, Peter. Always a pleasure to get your emails there, okay? Hello to Sean, who says, I don't believe in ghosts, but that's my opinion and I respect what other people think as well. Yes, always, always, Sean, um, 
respect what other people think or do, you know, within reason. If there's people going around murdering people and that sort of thing, then I don't think that's anything to be respectful about. But certainly I do respect what other people think and uh, what they believe. Unlike someone, and we'll finish on this one, who went to a funeral of a friend of mine last week. Um, I didn't go. Uh, it was a memorial service. It was, it was dedicated as a memorial service, and I wanted to go to, a f to the funeral. Now, the funeral happened to be uh, in Devon, so I found out. Uh, I found out all, all this from uh, a friend of mine, Danny, who I haven't seen for some years now. Uh, though there's a lot of... Uh, oh, Katie, coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Katie nearly fell off me then, didn't you, darling? There's a lot of fur coming off her. I don't know if you can see that, those of you watching the show. Can you see that fur flying off the cat at the moment? I'll have to give you a good brush after the show. Yes, um, a friend of mine, Danny, who I haven't seen for some years now, uh, he went to this funeral. The guy's name was Ian, and he was 37, 37 years old, and he died um, last week, actually, it was. Apparently he uh, was epileptic, which I didn't know, and he's banged his head at some point and died in his sleep. So, you know, not good for anyone to die at any age, but I think to die in your sleep peacefully is, is possibly something, you know, that, that, what, that we can all hope for, because we're going to die, whatever. Um, to die peacefully in your sleep is probably, I suppose, the best way to go, you know. Um, and Danny went to this memorial service and gave me a quick ring while he was in there. And it would seem that uh, Ian, his coffin, was in fact... Oh, all right, Katie, let go of my finger. Do you mind? Oh, she... Did you see that there? She attacked me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You've never done that before, Cat. Why did you do that? She's walked off now with a... Ta I've, do you know, I've got a bite on my... I've got my, my, my fingers bleeding now. What did you do that for? <laughs> she must have got uh, she must have got too hot on the chair or so. She'll be back up in a minute, purring away, one in a cuddle. Anyway, uh, so yes, apparently the the coffin was actually in the church. So I was a little bit disappointed with myself that I didn't go, but of course I wasn't to know that I would have gone had I have known he'd have been there because that to me is a you know like a like a proper memorial service when the, when the person is in the church. And um, Ian was gay. Uh, and he was also a Catholic, which, which I didn't know. And anyway, we're talking here about respect for what other people believe. And there was quite a few gay people in the church, apparently. Danny is as well, as, as well as I am, as you know. And the priest is doing some um, part of, of, of the memorial mass. And Danny was sitting in the congregation and... The priest came to the part where he says, the Lord is with you. And Danny heard a couple of gay people just behind him and one of them said in a loud voice, whatever. Now that is just total disrespect, isn't it? Why, oh why did a loud comment have to be, to be made by that, by someone else, in the church. You just don't need to do it, do you? If you don't want to go, don't be there. You, no, one, no one's ki dragging you, kicking and screaming into a church for any reason at all. You know, if you wanted to just visit Ian's coffin, then fine, you could have waited outside. Why, 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 oh why did someone go in that church and at the point of uh, the priest saying, the Lord be with you, and this gay bloke, Couple of rows behind Danny says, whatever. That's what I mean about disrespect. You know, I'm not, let me say, uh, uh, Muslim. I'm not a Muslim. But I would like to visit a mosque and I would kneel down and bow down as everyone else does in the mosque. I would remove my shoes. I believe you have to remove your shoes. I might be wrong there, I'm not sure, but I would do that. If I, if I was uh, to go into a Jewish synagogue, I, I, I don't know what you're supposed to do there. Uh, I am assuming you would have to wear one of the little black hats. Apologies if you're Jewish. I don't know what they're called. The little black hats. I, I would happily put one of those on and do whatever the Jewish people do in there. 
I wouldn't pass a loud comment like that. And it's just so disrespectful. It's absolutely so disrespectful. You know, if you don't want to go into a church, don't go into one. If you don't want to go into a gay club, don't go into a gay club. Do you see what I mean? So that, that's how I feel about that. Uh, any comments, of course, on any of the shows, as always, do let us know. My email address is chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. And long may this, 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 this wonderful weather continue. I don't know. I, I, I just get this feeling we're going to pay for this at some point. But to be able to sit here on a bright, sunny day, not a single cloud in the sky. All I can see in this cloud in the sky is the long... Uh, lines made by the by the planes to be able to sit here in the middle of November you know we're into winter now in a t-shirt and talk to you is heaven indeed isn't it I'll see you on the next show thanks for watching and listening bye bye